Welcome everybody, this is Shadow Child from AKU Clan, and I'm here with another Fallout 76 build, and this is for Silent Melee, as requested. Going into our perks, jump right in into Strength. Of course we got Gladiator, Expert Gladiator, and Master Gladiator. Except for on this class, we're only putting 2 points in each of those. 15%, equaling up to a total of 45% is well enough for this class. Being Silent because you'll be doing times 3 damage. Uh, next up is Course Barbarian. Every point of strength adds plus 4 damage resistance up to an 80 max with no power armor. Now, of course, yes, these builds are made around not having power armor. Just because me personally in a silent class and melee classes, I don't like using the power armor. I like the bonus uh, Barbarian and, of course, uh, over in Agility. They both give you that massive dam uh, damage resistance and you really won't need it. And I really like those perks using on melee. Of course, I will. I switch them up. If I use power armor, I just switch to the intelligence bonus. It basically depends on how you like to play. There's a lot of times I don't like using the power armor just because I feel the HUD is clunky and I, I'm just not a big fan of it. And I always tend to get out of it on accident or have to get out of it, spend more time to get into my workbench that I just don't always wear it. And they're really easy to keep, especially if you're server hopping, your cores stay fully maxed. It replenishes every time. But it just depends on your play style. And if you choose to have power armor, just of course switch Barbarian and the perk over here to the one 5 points in intelligence in place of those two. And you can always bump up like Lone Wanderer. And if you're playing with a team, you can always switch up Lone Wanderer for the others. Uh, moving on now to Martial Artist, your melee weapons weigh 60% less and you can swing them 30% faster, which is really helpful. I know 30% doesn't sound too much and maybe some people may not think that does too much, but it does, after a lot of testing, I, I do really do like it and I think it does make a difference. Your DPS just goes a lot higher. It's all about the DPS. And Incisor, which is my favorite strength perk for melee weapons, your melee weapons ignore 75% of your target's armor, which is really amazing. So you're doing even more damage on cre creatures you shouldn't be doing as much damage in. Moving on to Perception. Uh, just Refractor. Uh, you now gain f plus 40 energy resistance. This really helps out if you like if you watched my video that's going to be coming out here soon for leveling. Uh, there's a lot of areas where you're gonna be hitting with get hit with a lot of energy damage, and refractor is really good from stopping in those areas and taking as way amount of damage that you be getting shot up with. And it really helps out, especially against different creatures, especially when they pile up on you. Now, especially being and me in a melee class, you can't just go hide somewhere. I mean, this is a silent melee, but you're gonna sneak up and start doing some physical damage, and you're gonna have to get up some up and close up close and personal fights. Moving on to endurance, 15 points in endurance. You want your animanium skeleton, so your dam your limb damage is completely eliminated. You don't want any of your damage, your limbs to be damaged. It's going to slow you down. You're going to do less damage. You want you don't want to be broken. You your whole thing is to be fast, and you want to be putting damage as much as you can, and you don't want to be you know stuck having to use a stem pack too early. And then uh, this is what I'm talking about. Ironclad is really nice. Uh, you get 50% damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. This this, uh, this whole build is based around not wearing power armor. And I said you can switch it up and do it the way you like. But this that's uh, more damage and energy resistance that you would get inside your power armor. But now you're getting in this build. And it's a mass amount of defense. And I, I just feel like I just like it more. Honestly. Uh, rad resistant. 4% radiation resistance and the reason why this is very important is because there's a lot of creatures when they melee hit you they're going to hit you with also not only damage but res radiation which means you're going to be taking even more damage because your health goes down it can't go higher than that and it, it just the 40 percent really helps out with that which start getting hit by ghouls and starts it's ridiculous and also with ghoulish regener radiation now regenerates even more of your lost health you're not only taking less damage now from radiation, but you're also going to gain some back. Which is really big when you're using melee weapons. Next on to Charisma. We just run uh, Lone Wanderer. Of course with Charisma, you can run, you know, different... There's a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, ones for partying up. If you want to use partying up abilities instead. 
But me personally, I like I I'll play by myself or I'll play with the team. If I'm playing with the team, I'll just switch up my perk cards. It's really easy just to move around your perk cards to your liking. These are this is a really good base for you to go off of, especially if you don't know too much about the game. And um, of course, you have one point you can put in anything. You can put in your intelligence. It just depends on what you want to do. Of course, you can just bump up lone water even more. But it, basically, you can just put it up to what you do. This is a really just good spot to have it on if you're playing by yourself. Playing a team is a lot of fun. I love playing in a team. I usually play with a team of two, three, or four. And we'll just go around doing different things, leveling up or doing missions. And it, But this game is it's also Fallout. You want to play a little bit by yourself as well when you want to go out and venturing. Because if I go out and venturing and just collecting up materials, I'll do it by myself. And unless a friend's doing the same exact thing and maybe they want to join me, but I prefer to do it by myself so I get more of the loot. <laughs> but you can switch that around. It's all up to your liking. I didn't really pick any for intelligence. Not really any needed for this build. And then we move on to the next big is agility versus ninja. It's sneak attacks with melee weapons do three times normal damage, which is very important. And one hit one of these massive hits from your melee weapons. Of course I should I should also mention this since I didn't mention it, that you can switch this one handed gladiator to slugger. It's not a problem. You can switch between them. It's whatever you prefer, one-handed or two-handed. I just put the one-handed one on there because it's first on the perk cards. And you start off with Gladiator. Uh, currently, through Fallout, I'm actually going through with a melee character doing one-handed. And I thought about maybe switching up to two-handed, but I'm still on the fence about using one-handed just because I like the weapon I have. But going back on to agility over here. Going down to evasive. This is the uh, other one. Each agility point adds plus three damage resistance and energy resistance up to 45 if you have no power armor. As I said, you can switch all those up if you're using power armor and use different things. That's all on you. But this is just a base by yourself, no power armor build. Silent. The next course is sneak. You're 75% harder to detect while sneaking, which if you know well enough that in this game, sneaking is pretty easy. And if you have it up to 75%, you're, it's just ridiculous. You're going to do mass damage with your sneak hits, and you keep moving around. Now, the difference between melee and, you know, gun sneaking is that gun sneaking, you can keep on, you know, picking people off from a distance, get back to a distance, and do more damage. Melee, you're going to have to be up close and personal. And as a generalized tip, what I do is not only do I use my melee weapons, I also use shotguns. My build, since shotguns are basically a primary, primary um, strength ability, I switch between shotguns and melee weapons. I use shotguns if I'm having to keep them at a distance and move. Like, especially if I get low health. Or if my weapon breaks, I'll switch to a shotgun. And you can also, if you wanted to do more... In a, one of the areas of my video, my leveling video I'm doing next, uh, it talks about the area where you just get basically unlimited shotguns and shotgun ammo. And when you get a fully maxed out shotgun, it's going to do mass damage just like with your one-handed weapons. Of course, you're going to have so much, by the time your mass level is like level 1, really high levels, you're going to be able to max out any of your cards and switch between them pretty easily. This is just, this is the long game. When you're looking at these builds that I'm posting up, you got to remember this is a long game that you're working towards. And you got to move around your stuff as you see fit and situational. This is a great base to play off of. Next up is Escape Artist. This really helps out with melee classes. Sneaking to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. These are, as you go in there, hit somebody real quick, get out. Or you need to get out of a situation with your melee, just duck down. Next up is Dodgy. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 extra points per hit. When you're trying to get out, or if you go in or you get stuck in a spot, you're going to want to sacrifice some action points and get, get the heck out of there. And with the other things that we got on the class and having 15 points in agility, it's going to be pretty easy to avoid that little bit of damage and get back into a safe zone. And also with the help of Action Boy or Girl, action points regenerate 30% faster. I only put two points in this just because you you, it's, you know ran out of points. But 30% uh, is just fine. Last one is just 45. I mean, 15 more percent points would be nice, but it's not that you know, you don't really don't need it. Next up is Luck. Just the last one. Bloody Mess. I put three points into it. Do 50% bonus damage to enemies. And they may explode to a glory red pace. That's a little more damage. Making up for the three points missed over here. 
and it's just a little more damage. But of course, you can mix any of those up with what you like. The main ones that you're going to want to keep is agility, endurance, and strength. And of course, switch around gladiator for slugger at will. Whichever one. You're going to want to choose which one you want to go through. If you want to do but one-handed and two-handed or one-handed and shotguns. You want you want to you figure out what you what you want your plan for your character to be. Don't be afraid to make a new character like I did. And start over and choose what you're liking. I, first, I got a silent sniper class and I got the melee class as well. That's what I primarily use. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you guys like to see more or what would you like to see, go ahead and let me know. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun stuff that helps out my channel and grow. I appreciate you guys. You guys watching my videos, and I enjoy making them for you, and I'll keep bringing more. I'll see you guys next time.